Hi friends. Hi friends. So today we are going to be talking about our fine arts poster. And Miss Morgan is going to teach you a little bit about it. Okay. So this is called Birds and Flowers. It was created in 1974 by St. Pierre Toussaint. So he was a French painter mm -hmm. and he used a lot of different shapes and lines to create what we call folk art. Mm -hmm. And so today we are going to be talking about the different lines and we're going to learn about outlining, okay? So outlining is used to make the shapes of an odd, of a picture pop out. So make it go pop. Mm -hmm. So what are some shapes that we see in this picture? So if you noticed some of the flower looking um, picture looked like hearts. So he used hearts to create the flowers. Mm -hmm. And then he used a lot of curved lines to fill in the different shapes that we see. So the leaves, the bird is shaded in, it's colored in completely. But then everything else besides the flowers are used to lines to fill in the shape. So we're gonna create our own folk art today. And so folk art is a type of art used around the house. So things like bowls or clothing sometimes can be considered folk art. Mm -hmm. um, and things like decorative plates. So something that you might decorate your house with or a classroom or anything around the house, all right? So we're gonna create our own folk art today. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your markers or crayons, something to color with, and then you're gonna need paper mm -hmm. to do it on, okay? So you're gonna create your own picture. So whatever you want it to be. Um, and I want you to try to use the outlining and so remember we said the outlining was drawing thicker lines to make it pop out so when you draw your shapes make sure the outline of it or the line is really thick so we can really really see it and it might help to use a darker color too so today me and Miss Morgan are going to use sharpies for our outlining okay and I think since we're doing wild animals I think I'm going to do an animal instead of a bird Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do a wild animal too. So. Just trying to decide what shapes to use. Yes. I might start with a triangle. I'll do triangles too. So I'll make like a jungle and use the triangles to make trees. Remember those outlines. I'm gonna make a circle now. I'm gonna use the rectangles to make the, the circle the chunks of the trees. Hmm. Circle turned into more of an oval. Okay. Gonna do another triangle. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give my lion. I'm gonna draw a lion. I think I'm gonna give my lion a square head. And so, folk art is things that, like I said, can be used for decorations. So, ornaments or pictures and paintings things like that. Clocks. Clocks could be decorative. I'm not sure what wild animal this is. <laughs> could be a bear or a fox. A fox. That's what it is. Just the head. I'm gonna start um, shading in with those lines now. And did you know most folk artists don't go to school to actually become artists? They learn how to do folk art by watching other artists or working with other artists, which I thought was really cool. That is interesting. Because it's not really something you learn, but it's something you 
kind of learn, but not in school. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, yours okay. is adorable. So I have triangles and trees and the branches and then the trucks are squares. And then I have a little lion head right there. It's gonna be very colorful, whatever wild animal this is. And I think that's one cool thing about folk art is that it's really left up to your imagination. Yes. <laughs> Which is always cool. It's kind of whatever you see. And I think folk art is a really good way to express yourself. Yeah. No rules. Mm -hmm. Not really. And it allows all kinds of creativity, which is awesome. go ahead and finish up ours and then we will put a picture at the end so you can see our pictures um i hope you have fun making your folk art and i can't wait to see it bye, bye.